Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at my Vostok Amphibia 120849. The first video that I posted on this channel a couple of months back is on how to replace the crown on this piece. I did not really give a proper introduction to this watch, so I think it's about time to do some justice on this piece. Well, the uh, current form is not its original form because I have uh, since modded the bezel and the crown. So let me just try to show you uh, what the original form of this piece looks like. So this is the typical Vostok box that you get when you buy your Vostok timepieces unless you're getting some uh, special edition. So most of the normal Vostok, they come in this kind of a hard plastic box. So let me try to open up the box. Okay, there's a manual. Okay, this is the original bezel that came with the watch. The bezel, if I'm not mistaken, is made of uh, brass and chrome plated. So let me just try to show you how it looks. I'm not going to be removing this bezel and replacing but I'm just gonna try to like hold it there to show you how it looks like okay so this is uh, if you can imagine this is how the watch looks like to me it's a little bit too blingy because of the high polish of the bezel so that is why I swapped out the bezel to this uh, 12 hours uh, blue insert bezel in fact before I even purchase the watch, I know that I'm going to replace the bezel. I actually ordered the bezel before I ordered the watch. And to be honest, I never regretted it. The strap on the original Vostok, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not as stiff like, you know, some uh, Seiko or, you know, the, the stock citizen uh, rubber strap. It's kind of soft, but to me, it's just too long. And the number of holes, of course, they are not enough for my for my skinny wrist, as you can see. And on this piece, uh, I've replaced the strap with uh, uh, this uh, blue silicon rubber strap that I got from uh, metanorm.com. So if you are not sure about Meronom, they are a site, a Russian site that sells a lot of these uh, Vostok timepieces, and they also sell the accessories like you know the strap and the crown i'm not going to talk about the original crown because i've uh, did a video my very first video on how to swap out the crown so if you're interested to know how to change the crown and how the original crown looks like please uh, go ahead and uh, look at the video i'm going to put a link here at this corner all right let's get started with some dimensions the watch has a case diameter of 40 millimeters. Uh, this, these are the numbers that I got from uh, the Meronom website. It has a thickness of 15.2 millimeters. It's kind of thick, but uh, some of the thickness it's contributed by the dome acrylic crystal. It has a lug to lug distance of 46 millimeters and a lug width of 18 millimeters. The case is fully high polish. Okay. Of course, from the bezel, if it's the original bezel, it's high polish. It's, uh, the case is all fully polished from the top to the sides. The only, the only surfaces that are brushed is inside the lug. The case itself is made of stainless steel and it comes with a screw down crown. But uh, as uh, I mentioned earlier, the original crown is unsigned. It has a water resistance of 200 meters and the entire design stays true to the original Soviet era dive watch design. I'll put a link to a Wikipedia page about the history about was uh, about the Vostok and their watches and how uh, it's designed back then. Let's go to the face of the watch. The face is where this watch captures my heart. Sure, all the markers and wordings are printed, but the dial is just simply amazing. The dial has a nice sunburst pattern, if you can see, I'm not sure if it's showing up in this lighting. And it's slightly dome, I think, I believe the dial itself is slightly dome as well. The hour hand has a big arrow tip, and the minute hand has a sword-like shape. 
The second hand is blue painted, I believe, and it's with the loom lollipop. And all the indices, they have loom on them. Uh, it's like a, a, a drop of a loom on it. Um, I'm not sure what kind of loom does uh, Vostok use for their watches, but uh, it's okay. I mean, it, it wouldn't be as great as, uh, you know, Lumi Bright from Seiko, but it's still quite okay. Let's jump straight into the movement of the watch. As can be seen on the dial, the movement on this piece has 31 jewels. That is in fact quite a lot of jewel for an affordable timepieces. But uh, then again, uh, the movement, it's not uh, valued by the number of jewels, you know, as you know, most of the non-watch guys, they would uh, presume. This piece has a Vostok in-house movement of 2416. It beats at 18,800 beats per hour. Yep, it's a low bit movement, but on the upside, the suggested service interval on the Meronom side is 10 years. It has a rated accuracy of minus 20 to plus 60 seconds per day. Of course, with the uh, lower bit movement, the accuracy tends to you know be a little bad. But on my piece, I got about plus 10 seconds per day in, in, a, in a course of a few weeks. So to me, it's really not bad at all. This is how the watch looks like on the back. Uh, if you followed my first video on how to swap out the crown on this piece, uh, you will know that uh, the case back has a very special design in the sense that the center piece is fixed and it has a lock ring that uh, sort of like locks this center case back in place. So this prevents the chance of damaging the gasket due to the twisting effect from you know the, 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 the case back moving. So the case back has a very interesting design. Uh, at the center it has sort of like you know very coarse vertical brushing and uh, with all the Russian wording printed. So I believe this is the word amphibia. Coming back to the front of the watch, I'm just going to show a little bit about uh, the bezel action. On the original bezel, there is no ratcheting and it's a bi-directional bezel. So as you can see, it can move like front and back and there's no ratcheting. It's just more like a friction uh, fitted. It's the same for this uh, aftermarket bezel as well. Of course, there are some special edition Vostok that has a unidirectional bezel and ratcheting bezel, but uh, all of the general Vostok amphibious, they have this kind of a bi-directional design. So let's do a wrist shot. Okay, this is how the watch looks on my 6-inch wrist. To me, it still looks okay. Uh, maybe the luck to luck distance, it's, you know, sometimes it seems from pictures, it seems uh, there's some overhang, but in actual, I think it's still okay. All right, let's wrap up this video. I've always wanted to get a Vostok for the longest time. I'm really intrigued by the rich history, not only of the company, but the design values. You know, as a guy from an engineering background, I could really appreciate how they designed the watch to meet its function and requirement while having limitation in technology and machining capability back then, you know, back in the Soviet era. And after swapping out the bezel, it really looks very good in my opinion. And the 12 hour bezel can allow me to crack two time zones with this type uh, with this time piece. So I'm really glad that I did that change. With a historical proven case design, this piece is surely a Russian tank. Sure, the crystal might be acrylic, but as I mentioned just now, uh, it's easy to remove fine scratches and there is less risk of the crystal shattering as uh, compared to a watch with the sapphire crystal. So I guess that's it for this video. So if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at gfw underscore watch. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.